Cheers from Japan. I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard, and today I've got a little bag of glorious junk. It's been a while since I've had a nice little junk bag, uh, but I do today. Uh, I found this bag of vintage Japanese uh, omake mini cars and other little machines and things in here today at Mandarake and um, got this for a steal. I, I paid about uh, 20 bucks, about 2,000 yen for this entire bag. If you've watched any of my previous videos where I talk about omake, Japanese omake toys, they're kind of like Cracker Jack toys and I'm really into these recently and normally uh, some of these guys uh, can get pretty pricey. So the fact that I found a full bag of these guys for the same price that I would have paid for uh, like one really cool one, what, like just blew me away. So like as soon as I found this bag, I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take it, give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, so let's uh, let's crack it open and uh, see what we got inside. You know, none of this is gonna be, I don't think any of this stuff is gonna be like licensed stuff. It's just gonna be just random cars, you know, lots of the colorful stuff. So I will cut this video up so that there's nothing too boring, hopefully, and uh, we'll speed through it. Also. I've got my assistant, uh, Godzilla 1984 here, just for scale, and uh, a lot of these things will be, end up being kind of like little display dioramas with guys like this. All right, let's crack it open. quite a few little bits here. There's already some cars in here that I see that I have seen at Mandarake sold individually for uh, quite a chunk of change. I mean, relatively for these kind of small things. So I'm assuming they just got a bunch of these in from someone and uh, since it's difficult for them to sell multiples of the same thing, they just threw doubles and extra bits in here because the, the shop was completely packed, uh, the little omake shop. So you know what, I'm gonna go through these and I think I'm gonna just pick out the ones that I think are really interesting or my favorite ones and, and the ones that maybe you guys might like to see. You know, just a colorful little variety here because uh, I'm pretty sure none of you guys wanna sit here and watch me go through each individual car in here. That would be rather boring. So yeah, see you in a second. Okay, so I've gone through everything and what we have here are basically just the earlier kind of generic ones that are maybe not as sought after. Even though they're earlier, they're just not as unique as some of the other ones that I've set aside to talk about individually. But uh, real quick, I do want to maybe talk about just a few of these guys. Like these were, these were mass produced and uh, very cheap, basically free prize toys that came with candy or something. And you can see that they came in multiple colors here. Like we've got these two trucks with ladders just in reverse colors. We've got things like ambulances and uh, police cars and things like that. Some of them even have like little labels that are stickers on the side. Here we have, looks like a, it's got a cola, cola truck. And we've even got some that are done in kind of a chrome. And we've got here a very old car, of course. These were produced in the 70s, most likely. But yeah, they're not they're not this old. I mean, they're basically showing classic cars. Here's another really cool one. This little tractor bulldozer. Love the colors. This one moves up and down. Uh, I do really like this car. This has got a, like a full full color interior. It's not just a hollowed out shell. Like a lot of these are kind of just hollowed out shells. Yeah, these these kind of like two or three color cars are really, really cool. And I like I like this little truck for some reason. I like the colors on this one. This is this is very light and hollow. 
But yeah, something about this one. I don't know. This might be my favorite out of this whole little group here. Of this uh, standard kind. Okay, here's our next little lot. Um, again, these particular ones don't have any gimmicks, but these are a bit different than the kind of old school uh, standard ones that we just looked at. So, um, although some of these could actually kind of go in that category. Let's start with this little race car. This one looks like it is probably closer to 80s era. And if you look on the bottom here, we've got, it's produced by Glico. And again, in case I, I haven't mentioned this before. Uh, Glico and Morinaga and the companies that you'll see stamped on these kinds of toys, those were candy manufacturers. So again, these were all candy toys, candy bonus toys, if I haven't said that enough. Here we have a little tractor and it's got a steering wheel and it's got this little mechanism underneath. I'm not sure if it's supposed to represent like, like the tractor plowing something or if when you roll it across the carpet or something that that causes it to spin like that's not exactly how it works because i've tried it um but it seems like this is supposed to cause this to do something based on something that this does but uh, i haven't really figured it out yet i'm not that smart uh, another one here we've got this kind of jeep type thing and uh this one is kind of interesting it's got this extra uh, attachment at the front which looks like maybe it had string or something tied around it like uh, like string so that we could pull something I'm not sure if that's the case on this one Glico GL if you spell it out GL I C O but here it's written out in katakana and on the back it's got an opening for something so it looks like maybe this shot a projectile or something or how something else in there and there was also a rope attached I'm not sure uh, but I like this kind of milky translucent underbelly. I don't know, it's an interesting one. Up next, we have this uh, translucent, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's translucent, but it's also kind of like gold. It's very, very interesting. And red wheels, it just kind of pops out. We've also got a rocket, rocket on wheels. This, uh, this is just kind of rad, just a rocket. This would go really well with my little Evangelion Omake set. By the way, if you haven't seen that review, or yeah, they, they did make an entire line of Evangelion toys like this. I, I reviewed that, I'll link it at the end. A lot of the vehicles and stuff in that set were similar to this, so this would look really cool with that. Um, also on the side here, it has some markings. It says uh, M3? Yeah, M3. I don't know what M3 is. Missile number, number three? If you know what M3 means, let me know. What does it say over here? Uh, Morinaga. Okay, over here, uh, we've got what looks to be a bus or a trolley or, or something like that, and it's Glutico. This is a bit heavier. This is not as cheap of plastic as some of the other ones here. And again, this is probably 80s or early 90s, most likely 80s. And then we here we have also some kind of bus or van. And I love the colors on these guys. Well, these are made with little latches on the front so that you can connect them together and form a train of sorts if you wanted to. And also not from that exact same series. This is actually goes along with some of the earlier ones that I showed before, but this one's a bit special because it's a double-decker bus. And I just thought he was, uh, he was a bit cooler than the other ones. And even got the chairs and stuff in there. And this is Morinaga. Yeah, it's a cool little set. It's my birthday today. Beep beep. Um. It's my birthday. Yeah, so uh, one more little grouping of cars that don't really have a gimmick, but they are more kind of chunky, um, thicker plastic uh, Gurico cars that can connect together. This one right here, um, is actually a cool one because it's got this flip down uh, top here and man I actually paid close to what I paid for this whole lot for this exact same car just in different color maybe about a month ago so oh well you win some you lose some <sighs> 
So let's talk about this one. Uh, it's just a little pink uh, bulldozer of sorts. Uh, it's kind of dirty too, sorry about that. Everything else in here was really clean. Not much to say about it other than it's got this little ladder that pulls back and if, uh, if you push the ladder, that lifts up. So this one right here, so we've got another truck uh, with a crane and a hook on it. And uh, I like how you've got just a giant disembodied head that is driving it, that's kind of cool. The uh, the crane can swivel back and forth. I don't know, simple things like that are things that make me smile. I dropped it. Okay, up next we've got this little pair of cars with like giraffe and giraffe giraffe is gi giraffe is giraffes the plural of giraffe or is giraffe already plural? Let's just say giraffes. We got a couple giraffes in each car here, and we got like a, a mommy and a baby. And by the way, this is not a rhinoceros, that's just some like flashing sticking up on this one. A lot of these kind of had to be assembled if you bought them. Uh, and they're in reverse order, so you've got like the baby in the back and the mommy in the front in this one, and this is the reverse. But the cool thing about this little set is that when you push it, their heads move up and down. Ain't that cute. And the last one of this little lot is quite literally just a fish with a wheel in its mouth. Um, we Here's a snack for you, Godzilla, in case you get hungry. You like fish, right? Don't you eat tuna? And here is the final lot. This is definitely the cream of the crop from that little junk bag of vintage Japanese omake. Let's take a quick look at these guys. I'll go in depth about any of them that are super cool. I uh, will start with this one, just another basic one, but it's just a really rad design. It's got that late 70s, early 80s car shape. You've got an orange with the blue inside and you've got that uh, kind of just flat light gray. Again, this is Glico. This is another one of those ones that could attach and you can make a little train of cars. Just a nice little cool design, super simple one. Let's take a look at this little car here. Uh, again, we've got another oldie style car, but this time we've got a neon yellow translucent windshield, red wheels, just, an, just a cool little car. This is probably a bit earlier. I do have a book of Omake that I, because I'm trying to study and learn more about these, but there's just too many little series. The ones from the late 80s and early 90s are easier to find a, a more about. Anyway. I don't really like the, these like really old cars, but like this one, the colors and then the, the windshield really sell this one to me. So I picked this as one of my favorites. Up next, we've got, oh, let's just take a look at both of these guys. A red car with a clear windshield. Uh, I don't, does this open? No, it doesn't look like it opens. But it's also got bright green wheels and this is another just really kind of cheap one. Another maybe slightly earlier one got that lighter plastic but it's just a cool design cool colors and anytime they've got like little glass pieces on them or well plastic plastic glass pieces uh, for the windshields I should say plastic windshields you know that's mega points um, this one man look at that very sci-fi esque little Glico most of these are Glico it's got the, the little connection point there but it's got translucent green Windshields, the back as well. I don't know if this is an, based on an actual vehicle, uh, but it's really rad. It's also got kind of semi-translucent dark blue wheels. Very, very cool little car. I like that one a lot. Okay, and I think these here, I mean, those are pretty cool. Let's get those out of the way, actually. But these are the cream of the crop. These are the best of the best, I believe. Um, so let's go through these guys, shall we? Let's start back here with this little white one. Um, out of all the ones that really don't have any extra gimmick, just design-wise, this is a really cool one. It's got semi-translucent, kind of like, almost like lava-colored uh, wheels. It's just got like, just a white, simple white body, and it's got this really crazy windshield configuration here, done in neon green. 
And uh, again, this is maybe an earlier one. It's got the completely hollow body inside. Uh, I'm assuming that these two are from probably the same series, if I were to guess. But yeah, super rad. All right, now maybe this one is also part of that series. Now this is one I was really after. Let's, uh, let's take a close look at this one without all this junk in the background. Yeah, so I actually have seen this one, uh, several of these, at the uh, the little omake shop in Nakano, uh, run by Mandarake. And I've seen this car in a couple different colors, and it's usually priced somewhere around 1,500 yen, so about 15 bucks. And I've also seen ones that have little characters that sit inside, so I don't know if there were characters that came with this or how that worked or if, what characters they were, but like little people sitting inside. And it's even got uh, little sunroofs here. So maybe you could set these little people down in there. So with the little people, they were even more expensive, but for the car alone, I've seen it for that price. So that's almost the price of the junk bag right there. So it was really worth it to, to get it just for this. And again, this is a uh, hollow uh, in the slightly lighter plastic. So again, I think that's another one of the same ones from this series here with uh, these little guys. So. I'm assuming that just these these three are probably uh, maybe 15, 1500 yen a piece, 15 bucks a piece. But for those two, yeah, oh. But this one right here is definitely one of my favorites from this little lot here and the colors and everything. So super cool. Now I just gotta find little guys to fit in there. Okay, we're to the final three right here. Um, it's gonna be pretty hard to top this one. This is definitely my favorite of the lot so far, uh, unless some of these grow on me, but these are really cool and I figured I'd show them to you guys. So the first one here, this one doesn't have any gimmick. It's just a very thin uh, plastic. This is also probably an earlier one, but it does have translucent uh, dome and it's got like a metal chrome piece that looks like a B or an M and it's got it's have some right inside man this is like microscopic so I'm looking at through my viewfinder so it looks like that's supposed to be like where uh, maybe some creatures or pilots would sit maybe those are chairs not not a marking I yeah this pops up this also pops up so yeah maybe there were little figures you could stick in here too so maybe uh, maybe this is also from that same set. I don't know. I don't see any markings saying whether this is from Gleek or not. Maybe it's not from the same set, but anyway, that's kind of cool. Man, I gotta start finding some like really, really small figures to put in these little tiny ships and cars. Okay, I, I don't know which one to end on. I actually haven't really even touched this one yet. Like, I just thought it was really cool looking. I know what the gimmick is on this, so maybe I'll save that for last. Although the colors on this one are wild. It's got a, a series of wheels here. We've got a one big wheel in the front, and we've got some wheels in the back with uh, an odd shape. I don't know if that's supposed to be connected to something. And then you've got a fan on the back. So I was thinking originally that maybe this was connected to something that made the fan turn, but it doesn't look like there was any kind of mechanism that would have fit through to the fan, so maybe not. But um, it also does have a giant man head inside, and he's driving, it's just like a race car. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything, it just looks cool. I just like it, it just looks nice, it looks neat. Okay, here's the very last one, and this one probably has my favorite mechanical gimmick out of all of them. You can't really tell from here. It just looks like a, just a normal car. And, but if you look in the back, you've got little, little flames coming out. And if you check the bottom, you'll notice that, uh, if you check the bottom, you'll notice that the flames are connected to this little fork mechanism, which is connected to the axle here of these wheels. So if you, roll it the flames shoot out repetitively and here's that same uh, little action up close 
Yeah, simple stuff like this is really cool. So that's what I was saying. Uh, any of the ones that have this kind of shaped axle at the bottom usually have some kind of gimmick attachment. So some of the ones that I have in here that have the shape may be missing something, which is why they were in a junk bin pile. Yeah, this is a cool one. Okay, I'm gonna go through and pick out maybe... All right, guys, that's it for this little whatever this was. <laughs> Just this little unbagging of random omake. Uh, these are all my favorite ones from this lot. Uh, and, and Godzilla's holding a couple. He liked those the best. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really happy with, uh, especially all of these right here. I mean, I've still got just like literally handfuls of other ones that are just, I also bought, um, I also bought an entire bag of vehicle eraser Keshi in these like weird early 90s, 80s pastel colors, which, uh, I didn't want to bore you with these, but you know, I'm gonna have to go through these next. Um, man, I, I don't know, I bought a lot of little cars today. I don't know where I'm gonna put all these things. All of the extra ones that I have are doubles, and there were doubles of some of these, uh, or the ones that I'm not gonna keep. I will be putting up for sale. So check my Instagram, hit me up through a DM if you're interested in any that you saw. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video, guys. I went really hard last week. I made like half a dozen videos in the span of like five days. So if you haven't watched all the videos I did last week, every single video was very different. I made sure to make a variety of different kinds of videos. I spent a lot of time editing those too, so it wasn't just like an unbagging. It was, they had a purpose. Today I just kind of wanted to relax and just open some stuff that I found today. I know a lot of people like that kind of stuff, so here's a video for you. Uh, but tomorrow, um, I'll be home all day, so I've got a few other things that I kind of want to do like a legit review for and focus on and make it fun. So I might post a poll because I'm, I'm kind of torn about which one I want to do. I want to do something I haven't uh, touched upon recently, so keep it fresh. 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 Guys, that's it. Make sure you like, make sure you comment. Uh, uh. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs>